Ayo, hey, welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Cartoon Cory, and you're watching Grapple. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some Spongebob Easter eggs that are spicy, so be prepared, I've saved the best one for last. Also, if you're new to the channel by the way, make sure to subscribe, I'm going to be responding to the comments of all subscribers on this video. So if you're subscribed and you comment, YouTube will show me and I'll respond for sure. Anyways though, let's get into these Easter eggs baby, let's go! Our first Easter egg can be found in the episode Gary and Spot, and it references a classic episode from season 2, that being the episode Dumped. In this episode, Spongebob gets his little heart broken, when his pet snail Gary wants to spend more time with Patrick than himself. So, to try and make little Gary jealous, Spongebob gets a new pet snail named Larry, who is not only a lot uglier but a lot meaner too, like this snail just sucks. At one point, Spongebob lets him sleep in his own bed and he just ruins his bed. Now since the episode dumped, Larry has pretty much disappeared from the series, but he did pop up recently in the form of an easter egg, as when Gary frees all of the creatures from the animal shelter in the episode Gary and Spot, Larry is one of them, thus making for a fun little callback to the show's second season. One of my favorite seasons. Here's a clip with audio. Come on, let me show you around. Larry, Larry, I present to you dinner time. Ta da! Bon appetit, Larry. <laughs> In the iconic Season 2 episode Sailor Mouth, Spongebob and Patrick learn some new spicy sentence enhancing swear words from a dumpster outside of the Krusty Krab, and though they're told by Mr. Krabs not to use these bad words, which none of you should use either by the way, they eventually ignore the old man and get themselves into some trouble. Well, Patrick gets Spongebob into trouble when he goes to snitch on him. Before all of this happens though, we're given this iconic scene, like this scene is iconic, where Spongebob and Patrick play a board game called Eels and Escalators, a parody of the classic game Snakes and Ladders, and it makes for a really funny scene. Well, 10 seasons later, in the episode Bubble Bass's Tab, I think it's a season 12 episode, this board game, Eels and Escalators, is referenced, with it appearing on Spongebob's internal shelf of games. As you guys know, I'm a major fan of the Steven Hillenburg era of Spongebob, so I loved this little nod. Now, let's play a nice wholesome game of Eels and Escalators. Oh boy, my favorite! Come on, Gary needs a new pair of shoes! Ooh, eels! Too bad, SpongeBob, you gotta ride the eel! Darn. My turn! Hooray! Escalators! <laughs> up, up, up! You'll have to play the three deadly challenges! Oh, the three deadly challenges! <laughs> Is it a game of strife, uh, shoots and bladders? Oh, here it is! Ah! The three deadly challenges! Uh, board game. Whoopee. The season 10 episode, SpongeBob's Place, has a good plot, but I think the biggest thing this episode is known for is all of the wild Easter eggs. Now, I'm not going to cover this scene, which has like 8 plus Easter eggs all in one shot, like holy cow, as we've covered it quite a few times already, but I did find another one, and it's spicy. Remember the nasty patty that Spongebob and Mr. Krabs prepared in the season 3 episode of the same name? Yeah, well, it appears again for the first time in a long time during this scene, 
There are some slight differences, but this was definitely a throwback to season three, and I absolutely adore it. Here's a clip. <laughs> Why, that's the most diabolical Krabby Patty ever spawned. I call it... The Nasty Patty. <laughs> hey, hurry up with that patty. Here you are, sir, enjoy. Ah, hello, delicious. I see the problem. SpongeBob's not in the kitchen. I don't know why, but it's bad. Okay, and last but not least, our final Easter egg, or secret, can be found in the episode Patrick's Alley, which I will admit is a bit of a cheat since it's from the Patrick Star Show and not Spongebob, but eh, who cares, it's still really cool. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of Spongebob incidental characters, so I was pleasantly surprised when I seen Incidental 98 pop up in Patrick's Alley. This extremely rare incidental is known for his blue shirt with a heart on it, and he hasn't made an appearance since season 2. There aren't a whole lot of images of him, but this was definitely a really neat return of a highly requested incidental. Everyone wanted to see this guy back, so it's really cool. Now I'm going to show a clip of this with audio, but before I do I just want to say to the Grapple Gang, Thank you so much for watching guys, and thank you so much for all of the support. We hit 400k thanks to you guys, and we're continuing to grow. It's awesome, seriously. By the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure to comment, as I'm going to be responding to the comments of all subscribers on this video. So if you're subscribed and you comment, YouTube will show me you're subscribed, and I'll respond for sure. So yeah, put your comments in guys, here's those clips, I'm Cartoon Cory, and I'll see you guys again soon. Stay awesome!